Here's how I'd book John Moxley's return to the WWE. With WrestleMania 41 just around the corner, Seth Rollins makes his long-awaited return from injury, with hopes of finally getting his match against CM Punk at Mania. But with the new bloodline running wild all across the WWE, with The Rock and Roman feuding over power on SmackDown, or Solo going after Jay on Raw, the nightmare that Seth sacrificed his body and career for at WrestleMania 40 to prevent has become a reality. So with Seth blinded by anger, he puts all the blame on Roman, refusing to believe that him and Roman are on the same side for once. With both men wanting to take down the final boss, but Seth warns Roman that the next time he's got a steel chair in his hands, he won't wait for Roman to turn his back to him. He's gonna make sure that Roman sees it coming. And so just like with Drew at WrestleMania 40, Seth's too focused on the bloodline walking to his match against Punk, which gives Punk the chance to beat him, with this being the final straw for Seth. And now he's a man fully consumed with anger for the bloodline. And so when Roman and The Rock finally face off, deep into the match as both sides of the bloodline interfere and take each other out, including the ref, all that's left in the ring is The Rock and Roman. And as Roman is getting ready to spear the rock, Seth gets in the ring with a steel chair ready to take out Roman. And at that moment, the shield music hits. And unlike WrestleMania 40, where everyone was hoping the third shield member returned, one year later it comes true. And John Moxley, formerly known as Dean Ambrose, is in the ring. And he takes the steel chair from Seth and convinces both Roman and Seth to put their differences aside to give the rock a triple powerbomb, giving Roman the win. 